If you are currently employing one or two or maybe even more provisionals at your private practice, I want to ask you, how confident are you that you have set your provisionals up for optimal success? How confident are you that you have set them up in the way that they will be able to grow and flourish in their journey and their development as a clinician, but also in a way that they can be a contributing member towards your practice? Unfortunately, I speak to a lot of practice owners who has taken on provisionals and then decide to let them go. And the reason why they let them go is because they are running these roles at a loss. Now, this is not good for the business, and it's even worse for the poor provisional. I can't think of anything worse than starting a role as a provisional psychologist, really eager and excited, so, so excited and motivated that you've got this role to put your everything into it, and then it doesn't work out because the practice owner didn't know how to properly operationalize and set up this role in a way where it doesn't run at a loss or it doesn't run at a place where it only breaks even. Because only breaking even is also not good. It doesn't allow for the pulpit to hit the fan. And in business, that happens, right? And you don't want that stress and pressure on you as the practice owner or on the provisional that you are employing. And a lot of times that doesn't happen because life happens and people's circumstances change. And a lot of times people might need to move to another location uh, because generally when they're doing their provisional internship, it's at least a minimum 12 months, uh, usually up to two years, can be even a bit longer than two years, right? So people's circumstances change. So there's no guarantees for you as the business owner that the day is going to come where this person is fully registered and you can start to recoup your investment. Um, and yes, you might tell yourself you're playing the long game. Uh, again, I applaud that. I'm all about playing the long game. I play that in a lot of scenarios. But guess what, guys? There is a better way. There is a way where you can take on a provisional, not burn them out, not expect them to see way too many clients than what they can, right? But in a way that you can look at what is their capacity at what level are they coming in? And based on that, you can put a role together where they can actually pay for their salary package and make a profit above that salary package that you can then use towards operating expenses. Because that's not even true profit yet, right? This profit so a lot of people say um, when they're making profit on a role, it means that the person has got enough billings to cover their salary package. And yes, that's profit on top of salary package. But in actual fact, what that means is that is money that you as the business owner can use now to pay your admin team, to pay your rent, to pay your electricity, to pay the stationery, to pay for the printer, to pay for all the things that need to be paid for. Now, imagine if you don't set the role up in a way where you can achieve a profit on the role to use as operating, uh, to pay for operating expenses, you can be stuffed, right? Where's the money? The money's need to come from somewhere. So you can actually do this better. And this is why I've released a brand new updated edition of my provisional psychologist bundle, right? And what makes this bundle special is the fact that you actually get to spend 30 minutes with me in addition to all the resources that you get so that I can actually talk to you about maybe how you're doing things right now and how you can tweak, review and improve it in a way that works better for the business, for the clinician and the clients. And if you've never done this, I can tell you how to do it right, right from the start. So within this bundle, you get two employment contracts. The first is for a casual employee. The second one is for a full-time permanent role. In addition to the two employment contracts, I also give you a clearly outlined and comprehensive job description that you can use at your practice. In fact, this is the exact job description that I use at my private practice. Now, the next inclusion I think is the best inclusion and that is the employee packages 
So I've actually compiled for you two Excel spreadsheets, one for a four plus two provisional, one for a five plus one provisional, setting out all the numbers that you need to keep in mind when you are offering somebody a role. Because you want to have that confidence when you offer the role that you are offering this person a really great opportunity to come into the profession to be supported with you, whilst you can still ensure that you are making sufficient income from this role so that there is a very clear contribution to operating expenses so that you can avoid making a loss, avoid just breaking even and avoid all the stress and pressure about, oh my goodness, how am I going to pay the bills, right? Nobody wins when that happens and I've set it all out for you. I've looked at how many clients they need to see, what the session fee should be, how much to pay them, everything is in there, everything, right? All your questions answered. Well, in case all your questions isn't answered, I have given you a pre-recorded 30-minute training that I did for some of my paying clients all about hiring provisional psychologists. And there's a lot of do's and don'ts in that training already. And as if that wasn't enough, I have compiled a FAQ sheet. So I've made this bundle available beforehand and all the questions that wasn't covered in my 30 minute training video, I addressed in the FAQ. So I've consistently be, been adding more and more questions and therefore also more and more answers in that FAQ document. And of course then, if you still have questions, that's where the 30 minute consult with me comes in. It is absolutely my mission to help you to support provisional psychologists to come into our industry, to come into the profession and have a really well-supported, well-looked-after entry, but at the same time for us to also ensure that you don't have unnecessary financial pressures upon you. So if you want this clarity and you want the confidence that comes with supporting provisionals in the best possible way within your private practice, then please make sure that you secure your provisional site bundle. I'm only making 10 of these available. The reason why it is limited is because it does include a consult with me and I can only fit so many of those in over the next couple of weeks. Lastly, what I'm going to say is please be mindful that this will be the last opportunity that you will have to get the provisional at the current rate. I'm actually still charging my 2021 rate when I first released the provisional site bundle and the inclusions have grown, has been improved. So the next time I'm making this available, it will most certainly not be at this rate and will be at least a couple of hundred dollars dearer. So this is your final opportunity to get your bundle at the 2021 rate. If you've got any other questions, please feel free to ask. I will speak to you soon. I look forward to supporting you with your provisional psychologist. All you need to do is say yes to building your very own ultimate level five private practice. Because that is the practice that can run in your absence. And that is the practice that you can't stop smiling about. So reach out, get your provisional site bundle, and we will talk soon. Bye for now.